Hey guys, it's me, Dr. B, or Vanessa, and I am here to show you guys what I got planned for my October TBR. So I have a bunch of books that are already on the desk, ready to show you, but I did just get this big old package from Amazon. It has 10 books in here, and then I asked for all of the books to be in one package, but for some reason they put 10 in this box and the other one in a different package. I'm gonna open this box. Okay. Let's get this open. For people who had to pack my Amazon box were probably like, what is this chick into? So, <laughs> um, I am planning to read a bunch of books that are going to be part of either book club picks or read-alongs. So this month, if you haven't heard already, Sarah and Amanda, so that's Sarah's Shelves and Ginger Snapped Reads, are doing a read-along all month, so a couple sprints a week for the Bone Zone, and they've selected some different books to read throughout the month. So I'm going to show you them in the order that they are planning to read them. So the first book I have on KU is going to be Court of Death by K.A. Knight. This is the next book in the, I think it's Court of Kings series. And this is a standalone book, but it does come after Court of Nightmares. So I'm really excited to see what goes on in this book and if there's actually a little bit more plot to it. Um, it is a lot shorter than the first book. It's roughly like 200 something pages versus the first book was nearly 600 pages and just smut filled. Then the second week of October we are going to be reading Hollow by Karina Hale or Hallie. I'm not quite sure how you say it but I just love the cover on this book here. Um, says welcome to sleepy hollow may you never leave i don't know anything about this book let's see what goodreads says so goodreads says this is part of the series a gothic shade of romance so it is labeled as romance paranormal gothic retellings there's a little like trigger warning note or content warning note that says it's not considered a dark romance, but you may want to check the triggers because there may be some triggering situations that come up. Um, it does have foul language, graf graphic sexual situations, including male, male, female, and it's not suitable for those under 18. So if you're looking to have a good time, I'm going to link everything down below for Sarah and Amanda, as well as the other people that I mentioned in this video. For the third week of October, um, they are going to be doing Grimstone by Sophie Lark. This one is not released yet and it should be released later this month. It does say it's labeled as a dark romance. The fourth week of October, they are actually going to be reading Soul of a Witch, which is the third book in the Souls series. Since I haven't read the Souls series, um, the first book in the Souls series, which is Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue, or her soul for revenge I was like well I need to read those before I read Amanda and Sarah's pick for the fourth week of October October which is soul of a witch oh no this is about to be a good time so souls series for classic literature which is going to be done on October 24th and the 30th um, they're going to be reading Dreadful by Greer Rivers, and I think that book isn't out yet either, but it has a beautiful cover. All I know is that it's a dark retelling of some sort. Um, it says, on Goodreads, a dark modern romantic retelling of Sweeney Todd with a Medusa twist and a happy ever after. So I'm in love with the cover. It actually reminds me a little bit of Crossed by Emily McIntyre. I just like the colors and the vibe of it all. And for the Sugar and Spice book club that also is hosted by Sarah and Amanda, and I think Lachlan also is part of it or joins at times. I'm not 100% sure, but they are going to be reading Caution Tape by Molly Doyle and JD Knight, um, JD Midnight. And that is the book that will be coming later. Also on my TBR, since today's October 4th, I already started reading for the month, but I actually started out the month with 
Credence by Penelope Douglas and yeah that was a book you know sometimes it might be a good idea to go in not blind but it was a good time I read this with my book bestie Brianna and we're both on the same page with like what in the world um, but you'll have to stay tuned for my October wrap-up to find out what I rated it or you can go look on Goodreads but um, I had some words about about it um, anyways then after that I started reading The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston and I actually finished this this morning so two books already for October have been completed. Um, this morning, Brianna and I, so we're buddy reading a lot of books, and I decided, um, or we had decided that we wanted to read My Dark Vanessa next by Kate Elizabeth Russell, and I'm really liking this one. Um, I don't know why I put it off for so long, but this book is definitely, like, me vibing, like, not me vibing, but <laughs> this book is definitely a vibe for me because obviously my name is Vanessa. The book is also kind of like purple. Um, well, butterflies, that is um, the meaning about Vanessa. And there's actually, the page I'm on, it's so cool because literally there it talks about the, the origin story of the name Vanessa. But it says... Um, the name originated with Jonathan, Jonathan Swift, the Irish writer, and Swift once knew a woman named Esther Van Homrig, nicknamed Essa. He broke her name apart and put it back together as something new, so Van Essa, which became Vanessa. So I thought that was super cool, and I actually googled it, and I was like, oh, that's a true story. I'm going to be finishing that. Uh, I am like 25% ish through the book so I will likely finish this in the next day or two. Um, my plan because I've already started this book a while ago is to finish The Quiet Tenant by Clements McKaylon. I'm not sure how to say this person's name but I am about halfway through the book and it's not a long book it's probably I think it's less than 300 pages. And um, I had stopped it originally, not because it was bad, but because my Audible subscription, there was some issues with my mom's Amazon account, and I couldn't, like, get into my Audible. But eventually it got transferred into my name and email or something. So I'm going to try to finish that. And this is a book that I'm just kind of, like, continuously reading over time. I'm not, like, terribly far into it. But it'll take me some time to read because I'm not trying to read each of these essays like back to back to back. But I'm going to keep continuing 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna Weist. Or Weist. Um, this one is in another video that I was filming, still editing. And um, you'll see that come out sometime soon. Other books on my list that are not kind of... Um, dark. <laughs> um, and these are library books. So I have the audio for the first book in this little novella series. So the whole book together is called Loathe to Love You, but it's STEM collections. So we have, or STEM novella collections. Um, the book I'm going to be reading is Under One Roof, but there's also Stuck With You and Below Zero. So they're like a hundred-ish pages each. Um, but I figured since I have the audio, it shouldn't take me long. The audio says it's four hours long, and I read audio a little bit faster than the normal pace. Um, if possible, I would like to read these two books from the library. So this is Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. It would be fantastic if I could get through both of these books. And then I decided it would be a good idea to buy this book, read it, and listen to it and then I found out the audio is 45 hours long yeah let me show you this brick this is by far the biggest book I own this copy is like 1200 pages so we're gonna see if I can get through it this month <laughs> there are fun books that I have planned so one of my discord book clubs that I participate in is gonna be reading going to be reading My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. 
I actually, I don't think I've read a Grady Hendrix book, but it's funny because I have a couple of books by Grady Hendrix, and I'm also reading another book by Grady Hendrix this month called The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So this one is part of a fable book club that I'm also participating in. Speaking of fable, my own book club on fable, which is the Buddy Read Book Club, we are going to be reading Haunting Adeline to start off the month. And I'm giving everybody two weeks to read this before we switch over to Hunting Adeline. So we're going to be reading The Cat and Mouse Duet. And I did finish, uh, you'll see my September TBR if it's not up already. Um, if it is, I'll, I'll link my September TBR up above. But I did read Satan's Affair. Um, and it was dark and twisted and I absolutely loved it. Another book that I will be buddy reading with Brianna is Assistant to the Villain and I happened to get the I guess sprayed edges cover. I think I got this one from Target um, but I have no idea what like any of these books are about but I think this one has been like raved about on social media for uh, lately so I'm excited to see what this one is all about. I'm also going to be reading slash or pass this month. I have a cute little reading vlog that I want to put together. I wouldn't say it's cute. I guess it's going to be like, um, I want it to be a little bit of a spooky vibe to it. So I am reading that currently. Um, Tyler Page actually sent me the, an arc of the book and I'm excited to read it and give my thoughts and opinions on it and hopefully take you along my reading journey and maybe turn you on to a book that you want to try. I did also just get the audio for Yellow Face by R.F. Kang. Uh, I think that's how you say her name, Kwong or Kang. I'm not 100% sure. But I, you know what's funny? Let's make a face, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I had to do it. Okay, I just saw, I like saw it and I was like, that's too funny. Um, so I'm going to be reading Yellow Face, and um, I hear it's a really good book. A lot of people love it, so I'm very excited to read it. I think it's also by an Asian author. Yes. Miss Rebecca here. I think I'll really enjoy this. I also have the audio for it, so I'm excited to get through this. And then... Last but not least, I am going to be reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as part of my Harry Potter buddy reads that I'm doing with a couple of people. So I have a lot of books that I'm trying to read this month. Let me let me count for you guys. So I have them all on a little Word document here. So I'm buddy reading Credence, My Dark Vanessa, The Souls Trilogy, Corrupt, Assistant to the Villain, and the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So that already is two, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Um, I read The Seven Year Slip already, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We have Haunting and Hunting Adeline. Um, Yellow Face, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Heart of the Sun Warrior, It, The Quiet Tenant, 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. Court of Death, Hollow, Grimstone, Dreadful, and Caution Tape, My Best Friend's Exorcism, and Slasher Pass. So that is 26 books. That's 26 books that I'm hopefully reading, hopefully getting to read this month, and some of them are really big. So we'll see what I can get up to this month. I had a really successful month last month and I'm always continuously pushing myself to read more books, especially books that I love, right? I'm not gonna sit here and read books I don't love. I wanted to just say I got some book mail, surprise book mail from my good friend Nikki. She said, enjoy your gift. Thought I would send you a little spooky surprise. Hope you love it. So thank you, Nikki. Nikki sent me my roommate is a vampire, and I've been seeing this in like Target and um, kind of like floating around in some people's sprints that I've been watching. So I'm really excited to read this one, and we're actually gonna buddy read this together. So excited! Thank you so much, Nikki. 
I appreciate you so 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 much don't forget to go to my friends channels and subscribe to them I'm gonna post everybody's channel below that I've mentioned in this video today so please go subscribe to my friends watch their videos just love all over them because I love them all right guys thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out all of the books on my October TBR I know it's quite a long one but stay tuned to see later this month or actually the beginning of next month at some point to see if I actually read all these books and if I do what I end up rating them I'll catch you guys on the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe see ya peace